Thanks for watching the video. Today we are talking about five things you can do to increase your deposit if you don't have enough deposit to buy a house. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe below. The re ad revenue that we will get from this channel is 100% donated to local New Zealand charities. So just watching this video, you've helped a great cause. Okay, today we are looking at five tips I can give you to help boost your deposit. The first thing is look around your house and see what you can sell. It might be a spare car that you don't use anymore, it's just sitting out on the driveway. It might be the camping gear that you went away once with and almost had a divorce over. It could be the mountain bike that you bought and took out riding once. There's a ton of stuff sitting around your house right now that isn't being used and could be sold to increase your deposit. Grab a camera, take photos and list them on Trade Me. That money is just sitting there not being used. My second tip is around spare savings accounts. Now it's incredibly easy to sign up for bank accounts, share trading accounts, savings accounts. They're really easy to sign up online these days and really easy to forget that they exist. Maybe you tried sharesies two years ago and never did anything with the money in there. Maybe you've got some bonus bonds that you don't use anymore, never checked on. Scoop it all into one savings account so that it's really easy to prove to the bank how much you have as a deposit. My third tip is to try and convince your employer to pay out accrued holiday pay. Now one of the concerns that employers have about doing this is that it could be a health and safety issue. If you've been working 80 hours a week for the past three years and you haven't had a holiday, that is a health and safety risk. But if your employer is happy to do it, they could pay you out some of that accrued holiday pay and you will have a boost to your deposit. So chat to your employer about it. Understand that there are some limitations to what an employer can do, but if you can free up some of that holiday pay, it'll help your deposit. The fourth thing to look at is even though your parents may not be able to gift you some money, they may have some equity in their house that you can co-borrow on. Now, at least one of the banks has a great product where you and your parents can borrow a part of the equity in their house. So you are responsible to pay it back as much as they are, and it will free up that money to use as a deposit for you to buy a house. As a lot of you know, if you borrow over 80% on a house, the interest rate is often significantly higher. So using your parents' house as equity can really bring that interest rate down and you'll see those special rates that you've been seeing in the media, the well below 3% rates. My fifth and final tip is to start a side hustle. Now anyone that's watched a few of these videos will know that a business, a new business, takes time to prove its profits and it doesn't help your income hurdle. But if it's a profitable side hustle, you can increase your deposit, you can increase the savings in your deposit almost immediately. A real classic example of this is Uber. If you have an economic car that doesn't cost much to run, you can become an Uber driver very quickly. The money that you make from this, although it doesn't improve your immediate provable income, does increase your deposit that you are saving towards your house. So it doesn't have to be Uber, it can be anything that makes a profit, just make sure it is making a profit before you invest too much. And finally, make sure you keep some tax aside for that side hustle because you have to pay tax on any income you make. Tip. So that's five tips you can use to increase your deposit for your first home or even your next investment property. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe below. Check out our next video next week. Bye.